But oh guys, it's uh, really time to get to work on this block now, so stay tuned. <laughs> to the channel guys so I'm headed to the shop right now Oops, sorry about that um, I'm headed to the shop right now because last time I was there I asked them if they had a piston ring compressor I meant to grab it and uh, yeah I never actually grabbed it I think I was having way too much fun um, messing with Spence you know this guy you more shredded than a julian salad man thanks yeah what's the secret dude sorry Spence I had to do it again Anyway, so I'm headed to the shop right now. I sent the guys a text to see if they were out there, and I haven't gotten a response back yet. Maybe maybe they're working on a car. I don't know yet. But I'm gonna drive out there anyway and see. Hopefully they're there because I do want that ring compressor so that I can put the uh, pistons and rods in the block today. So and then if they're not there, then I'll head to like Pep Boys or something. I think they have piston ring compressors there. I don't know. We'll see. So. We'll see if the, boy, if the guys are at the shop. And that was unsuccessful. Um, so I guess I'm gonna head to Pet Boys and see if I can see if they have a, a ring compressor, piston ring compressor there. Um, like I said, I want to try to get this a lot of this done. It's starting to get cold, and it's getting cold in my garage, so. The sooner I can get some of this stuff done, the better, so I'm not that cold. So, I'm all right, guys. So, you know how I've been posting the um, the new direction, basically, you know, determining how much it would cost to build cars. Um, and we're going model by, and I'm going model by model and things like that. If it has, if it has an aftermarket, well, apparently. Some people are getting a little butthurt about it. Um, and when I say some people, it's not even subscribers, uh, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it's people who are watching it and then going, well, you don't own the car and blah, 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 and this and that. Well, yeah, that's why I have stated. The whole point is, if I own this car and I were going to do the research on parts and things like that, how much would they cost? That's how I do research. That's how I did research before I bought this car. Um, the parts that were available, things like that. What was, you know, what could I possibly do with this car? Um, and I guess, again, some people are getting butthurt about it because, they're like, you don't own that car, you don't own this car. Yeah, I don't own any of them. And some of the people who are commenting, I don't think they own them either. But I'm going to continue with doing this because I think it's just helpful in general and also I like to see I like to see what is out there as far as what I could have bought instead um, and built versus the Genesis Coupe although it's, it's gonna take an act of God for me to find a car that I would have bought if I had the money I love this car so I just wanted I want to get you guys opinion about that let me know if you think I'm wrong for, you know, researching how much it costs to build these cars. I don't think I'm wrong. Um, it's, to me, it's interesting, and I don't see anybody else that, out there doing it, so why not me? So, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. You guys saw that I think it was a Caprice. Uh, I hope Dr. Pepper is paying that dude because I see that car all the time and he did put Dr. Pepper on that shit. So I give him credit, but again, I hope they're paying him. I wouldn't be doing that for free. guys so i'm at pet boys eventually we are going to uh talk about danny's uh 
Mazda Speed 3. Is Danny here? Yeah. I'm gonna start writing on his car. Alright guys, I am looking for a piston ring compressor here. Uh, what's the look This is not fun. I just got asked not to film while I'm in the store. Even though I'm still filming while I'm in the store. And I'm still trying to find a stupid compressor I know was here. Ridiculous NASA undercover work. Well, that's the trip to Pet Boys. What did I get at Pet Boys? Well, I need to do an oil change too. Yes, I use Royal Purple. Um, no, I didn't get paid for that. I should get paid for that. But I'm not gonna get paid for that. Very cool, actually, while I was in there, I was talking to Danny, that's his uh, Mazda Speed 3, and he was um, telling me that, like, he's, you know, I was asking him, how, you know, what's he gonna do as far as modding? And, you know, he has some ideas and things like that. He did say he liked what I've been doing as far as, um, sorry, I'm trying to get this ring compressor open so I can show you guys. Um, as far as, um, damn. All right, anyway, let me finish my thought. Uh, as far as you know me pricing out stuff and things like that and he asked me if I could help him out with that so what I'm gonna do is probably next week do a video for the Mazda Speed 3 as far as parts and things like that to help him out um, and then you know go from there meanwhile while I try to get this open ah there we go Ring compression. Ow. Damn that sharp. I know I got it from Pet Boys. I don't expect the greatest quality, but I'm hoping it's uh something that will work. Okay. Hell. Oh. oh sh ow! Well, no it'll fit, so. We'll start to uh, build the motor, put the stuff in the actual block now. So I'm gonna head home. I did end up getting that um, piston um, C clip lock for the uh, wrist pin. So um, I'll make sure to get that together. Hmm. That'd be a good idea. And Tony, nice to meet you. Uh, Tony, I guess, I, I think he's new at Pet Boys or whatever. And you know, he's admiring the Genesis Coupe. Uh, and of course I need to wash it but you know I'm hoping he does get one he's uh, he's actually going into the military so Tony be careful um, and thank you great thing dirty dirty girl she needs to be washed and she needs a little change <laughs> all right guys as you guys can see the block is still actually on here yes thank God um, yeah no so anyway here are my pistons here and i bought that obviously ring compressor so i could get those rings compressed to get them in the block finally um i did like i said did get that c-clip actually let me go get that here we go all the c-clips i ordered i'm not sure it's either it's one of these two this one seems a little too thick this one seems a little too small but we'll find out when I finally put them in, um, I'm gonna try to work on the work on this tonight and just show you exactly how the ring compressor works if you don't know how it works. And then probably tomorrow, I'll get, at least get the pistons into the block so we're getting somewhere. I know we haven't discussed or talked about the motor in a couple of weeks, and again, I don't want to forget about the motor or leave it out and things like that. It is getting a little bit colder though. So there's less likely I'll be in the garage. So again, I want to at least get the bottom end assembled um, uh, completely. And so that way there's only a few things left to actually do, like put the head on and things like that. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. I just got to figure out which ring, which rings are going to work with that piston. So um, yeah. We'll see. Three hours later.
I'm anal retentive and just want to get things done. I put the uh, new uh, lock in there using WD-40 and it fits so perfect. Now we can uh, put the uh, piston in the block finally and we can get this going. So we'll get that started. Not today though because it is freezing out here. I don't like this one. Like, uh, can you see the light? See? <laughs> I needed a new light in here, something with a brighter source. You can see my pretty face, cause look at this face. Come on. Um, damn, damn, that's why. That's pretty good. Um, anyway, so we will work to uh, get the pistons in probably tomorrow. Oh, you're a little dirty. Yeah, that, that, that's somewhat better. Uh, work to get the pistons in the block tomorrow and um uh, yeah let me know what you guys think about this video i know it's probably like not what you're expecting or maybe it was i don't know um let me know down in the comment section comment section what you think um let me know if you guys agree with me continuing the um how much does it cost to modify series because i think it's important um just in general it does help people out it seems like i said Danny seems very interested in me doing when I do the uh, his Monster Speed 3. Um, so 2011, by the way. Um, but so I will continue. I think I'm going to continue with it because it does make me feel like I'm helping people and things like that. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and even if you don't agree with me, guess what? I'm still going to do it. But I'm going to continue doing videos like this with my Genesis Scoop Block, things like that, because I feel like it's important to see what's going on with me and my life and the car and whatever else and let me know what's going on with you guys um like i said the channel's growing so and i definitely definitely appreciate it and i love seeing it so um again let me know if you have any questions let me know if there's a car you would like me to figure out how much it would potentially cost to modify and things like that just remember too that those those videos are um should be used as guidelines don't exact if you should always do your own research and you know just but i'm trying to again i'm trying to help but still do your own research to see if you agree make sure you're using forums and things like that um uh, call the companies uh you know just learn about your car if you don't if you're looking to modify and don't know that much about it it's actually pretty fun so again let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section uh like share comment and definitely subscribe hit that subscribe button come on i want to see more of you guys so um until next time make no limitation your only limitation peace